All right, folks. So in this video, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about some test equipment or test gear that you might have uh, for part of your ham radio operations or your ham shack. And we'll talk a little bit about the importance of having that. So I want to say a little while back uh, towards the beginning of 2019, if I remember correctly, um, I did pick up this uh, SWR and power meter. And I'm not saying that this is the SWR power meter that you need. I'm not telling you to buy this particular one. But I want to talk a little bit about the importance of having one of these. And um, when I got it, it was funny because my buddy I was talking to, he goes, hey, I picked up a SWR meter and I was testing that J-Pole antenna that we bought. And uh, I'm getting close to a 6 to 1 SWR on that thing. And, uh, you know, I bought one and I did the test and sure enough, I was close to a six to one as well. And I was shocked because I was using that antenna all the time and uh, I didn't really think it was a problem. And uh, I was damaged my radio uh, the whole time and had a bad signal. And I, even though I got good reports, uh, apparently I wasn't doing the right thing. So anyhow, the one I picked up was this one. It's an SA. It's an RS40. Now this particular meter, you can get either this one or a variant of it off of Amazon for around 45 bucks, 40 to 45 dollars. And um, different, these are branded differently. Most of them still say the RS40 on there. And the reason I picked this up, it was because it's a UHF VHF um, meter. And then if you take a look at it, you can do 15 watts, 60 watts, or 200 watts ranges. And if you look here, you can see the different ranges. And it does SWR and power. I'll throw a screenshot in, in the back, but it comes with the instructions and the specifications uh, for this particular model right on the back, which is pretty handy because I, I didn't save the box or the, it actually came in like a bubble pack or a blister pack. I didn't save that. Um, so it's handy to have any of the information that you need, the specifications that you need right on the back of the radio. And uh, around the same time, I also picked up this, which is a dummy load. And um, I use this in conjunction with the power meter in order to test the power output of a radio or device. Probably not as important as SWR, but uh, important nonetheless. Now when you start playing around with uh, different aftermarket antennas, maybe ones that didn't come with your HT or antennas you're hooking up to your mobile or base station, um, you're going to need these. And you're going to need a lot of these when you start hooking them up to things like power meters and stuff like that. And um, this might look like a pretty impressive pile, but it's certainly not. Um, I'm constantly running around looking for a connector that I don't have. Um, and it drives me crazy. Anyhow, let's go ahead and set this up, and then you can see how I use it, and then maybe you can make a decision if this is something that you want uh, as part of your ham shack or not. Okay, for this first test, we did hook the Yaesu FT60 up through some adapters. Now, I know people are going to be like, Hey, bro, you can't have all those adapters. They cause interference. They cause resistance. Um, but this is what we got and I have it hooked up to the dummy load So we're going to switch our function to power because we're going to do a power test So right now <clears throat> The Yesu is set on high power. So if I go ahead and key this up, we should see on the power meter right around 5 watts There we go, we're right close to 5 watts just as we expected Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on low <clears throat> and we can see what the difference is So now we're set to low, and you can see we're at around one watt, which is what we expected. Let's take some time and set up an antenna real quick. Okay, so for this test, we're going to test our SWR. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move that over to the SWR position. Then we're just going to go ahead and key it up. Now you can see the needle barely moved, and that means we have a good SWR reading. So let's go ahead and try one different frequency. And so we're getting around a 1.4, 1.5 SWR on that. Anyhow, it's really important for you to test your equipment and make sure everything's working properly. It's a best practice as a ham radio operator, and so uh, what I'm going to say is, is that you know, this was around 40 45 bucks. I think for the dummy load, I paid around $30, $35. So you're talking 70 to 80 bucks to be able to get some equipment to test your HT and even mobile radios on UHF and VHF. Anyhow, that's really it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead, click thumbs up, and subscribe. 
or leave a comment letting me know your thoughts. I really appreciate it. Thanks.